Oh, here come the fun ones that I'm going to get made fun of for. Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. Which, I guess if I was too embarrassed by it, I wouldn't be showing it in this video. But I'm on a mission now to collect all of her DVDs. Which is kind of pathetic for a 22-year-old. Um, Barbie and the Nutcracker. Which, the Nutcracker is one of my favorite, like, stories, period. And, you know, in a Barbie movie, it's, like, ten times better, of course. So, I think get this one, too. And Barbie Fairytopia. I don't really have, I don't like fairies. I don't have a thing for them at all. They're just kind of there, but it's a Barbie movie, so. Yeah. Oh, here's a long. Uh, My Sassy Girl, which is a remake of a Korean movie. I haven't seen the original. And I'm pretty sure I want to. I'm pretty sure it's a million times better than this one. But she is one of my favorite actresses. And, you know, just anything she's in just makes it worthwhile. I love her. Uh, Flight Plan. Which this has a smooth cover. Which I like. Um, it was a good movie. I liked the ending. Well, no, I didn't like the ending, actually. Or did I? I think I'll have to rewatch it. I don't think I like the ending, though. But I like the rest of the movie, and I like movies on planes. I should do more movies on planes. That's fun. Uh, the Eye, which I also did already have this one, but this was not... Uh, what I had was not the special features, like all the special features here. I didn't have that. I just had like the widescreen and full screen and the trailer one, which is kind of sad. And I only re-bought this one again because I think I'm still in my Jessica Alba phase. I guess so. Uh, Lucky Seven, <clears throat> which is a Lifetime movie, I think. I like those old Lifetime movies that they had on the airs, like in early 2000s, with Patrick Dempsey. This one was really cute. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say about that one. But it was cute. Bride Wars. You know, um, to be honest, I think the only reason I got this movie is because I have a little obsession with like wedding movies. I think I have like eight already, and this would be nine. I just, I don't know. I like wedding movies. I like seeing people have their weddings in movies, even though I'll never have mine. Shutter. The unrated edition. This was for four dollars, so I figured I just buy horror movies left and right. So this was four dollars. I don't care if it's a remake or not. I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, I'll watch it eventually. I haven't seen it yet though. <coughs> the Uninvited. Yeah, The Uninvited. I've heard good things about this, but I don't really like Emily Browning at all. She's kind of weird. But I like Ariel Kebble. She's... Oh, wait. I bought The Grudge, too, also, but it's over in my chair over there, and I don't want to get it. But I bought that because of Ariel Kebble, too. So now I have to get Red Mist and Reeker, which she's in. Even though Reeker is like $30 on Amazon, which I'm not spending. The Woods, another three dollar movie, which I was very, very like overly excited to find because it has Agnes Bruckner in it, and she is 
probably like my third favorite actress of all time. And I've been wanting to see this movie for a while because all of her fans have told me that she's like really good. So I'm pretty convinced she's like amazing and this movie is amazing just because of her. So I was so excited when I found that one. Sunshine, probably the second most beautiful cinematography I have ever seen in a movie ever. Uh, the last part of the movie kind of threw me off. I didn't like it. Maybe it's one of those that has to like stick with you, but the first uh, parts of the movie where we saw like you know, it was kind of like an intellectual journey, and then the last part of the movie happened, and it's... Well, I don't want to spoil you, but if you watch it, you'll know. And some of you might like it if you like twists, but... Uh, it just kind of didn't fit with the whole movie. It felt like two different movies. But this, definitely, if you like... If you just want to watch a beautiful movie, period, you should get this one in Dreamland. Two of the best movies ever with beautiful cinematography. So, just saying. Oh, and Rose Byrne is in this, too. She's amazing. Oh, and this was another $4 one. And Eden Lake. I saved this one for last because this is my favorite of all the ones I've bought so far. Out of, like, actual movies and that TV shows of this month. This was a really, really, really good movie. Um... It's kind of like a real life horror, something that you could definitely see happening in real life, which makes it even kind of scarier. I don't want to say scarier because I don't scare easy, but this was just a really good movie. The acting was great. The ending was fantastic, and it was definitely true to like an actual horror movie. So... I think any horror fan who hasn't seen this movie should go out and rent it or buy it or something. It's really good. I'm pretty sure nobody would be, like, disappointed. And, um, I think that's all the movies I bought. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. So, um, maybe I'll do another update later or something. But, I think that's it. Okay, bye.